A black eye are often both painful and embarrassing. Thankfully, black eyes aren't often serious and can usually get away without extensive treatment. Unfortunately, there's not much you'll do to urge obviate a black eye faster. However, there are strategies to market optimal healing, and you'll always wear cosmetics to scale back the discoloration of your black eye when going call it public. Step 1. Apply ice to the world around your eye. Apply a chili compress, washcloth crammed with ice, or a bag of frozen vegetables to the swollen area in 10-minute intervals. 1. Apply the ice pack for about 20 minutes every hour during the primary few days of healing. Begin this treatment immediately and continue it for 24 to 48 hours. 2. Press on the skin round the eye, not on the attention itself. Make sure you wrap the ice pack during a towel or cloth. Applying ice onto your skin can cause skin damage and frostbite. Step 2. Take a pain reliever. 3. If the pain or discomfort is tough in touch, take an over-the-counter pain reliever. Acetaminophen Tylenol is usually considered to be the simplest option. Ibuprofen Advil works too, depending upon which you've got available. Both are available for purchase over the counter at your local pharmacy or drugstore. Aspirin should be avoided since it decreases the blood's clotting ability. 4. Follow the instructions on the label when taking the medication. For acetaminophen, don't take quite 4 grams in 24 hours. For ibuprofen, the max dose is 2 grams in 24 hours. If you've got kidney or liver problems, talk with a doctor before taking pain medications like these. Step 3. Do not force your eye open. 5. Oftentimes, a black eye are often amid significant swelling round the eye. If this is often the case for you, and if it's challenging to open your eye, there's no got to force it open unnecessarily. As long as you've got ruled out that it's nothing more serious than a black eye, that there are not any other medical concerns, there's no problem with keeping your injured eye shut if it's painful to open. Step 4. Protect your eye during any at-risk activities. 6. As your black eye heals, which normally takes 1 to 2 weeks in total, you'll want to make sure that you simply wear glasses or other protective gear if you discover yourself in any situation that would potentially cause further damage to your eye. Or, if you injured your eye during sports, refrain from participating during this sport until your eye has fully healed. Step 5. Check for extra damage. A black eye is bad enough, but not necessarily serious on its own. If amid other eye injuries, however, you'll got to seek professional medical aid as soon as possible. You'll have suffered severe damage to your eyes or a severe head injury. Look closely at the white portion and colored iris of your eye. If you see any blood in these spots, you'll have injured your eye during a critical way. Schedule an urgent appointment with an ophthalmologist. 7. If you've got vision problems like blurring, diplopia, or increased sensitivity to light, you ought to also contact an eye-fixed specialist. Other signs of probably critical damage include severe pain when moving the attention, severe headache, numbness of the face, swelling or depression of the attention or orbit, nosebleeds, and or dizziness. Step 6. Avoid putting pressure on the attention or causing more damage. The damaged area are going to be sensitive until the discoloration fades. Putting pressure on the attention can make it hurt more, but it also can aggravate the damaged blood vessels beneath the skin, causing a worse or prolonged injury. Before you get the swelling to settle down, you ought to also avoid forcing your eye to remain open for a protracted period of your time. Step 7. Switch to moist heat after 24 to 48 hours. 8. After each day or two of using an ice pack to appease the swelling, you ought to switch tactics and start applying moist heat to the injured area. Hold a warm, moistened washcloth or compress against the affected area. Don't use a hot pad, since this provides dry heat and may actually be too hot, thereby causing more damage to the sensitive skin of your face. Apply the nice and cozy compress in 10-minute intervals, each of which should be separated by a period of rest lasting no but 10 minutes each. Do not apply the nice and cozy compress onto the attention. Only apply it to the skin round the eye. Warm compresses promote an increased amount of circulation to the damaged blood vessels. This enables pooled blood trapped below the surface of your skin to be reabsorbed, which may speed up the healing process. Step 8. Call a doctor if the damage worsens or doesn't fade. Your black eye should fade significantly after every week and a half approximately. If it's not faded much within that point frame, call your GP and schedule a meeting. 
Black eyes tend to seem worse before they recover, so do not be alarmed if your eye looks worse during the primary few days following the injury. If you've got any reason to suspect there's still bleeding, however, then you ought to see your doctor directly. Step 9. Wait until the swelling goes down. 9. Immediately after you receive the injury, your first priority should be to start the healing process. Applying makeup to the black eye while it's still swollen could irritate the skin and cause skin redness. Additionally, the cosmetics want to conceal your black eye are likely to wear off as you apply cold packs to the injured area, making application before treatment fairly pointless. Wait until you've got entered the nice and cozy compress stage of treatment before applying any makeup to the injured area, and apply makeup as little as possible. If you're feeling you would like to hide your eye once you got to leave the house or if you are having people over, that's okay, but when you're just reception on your own, you ought to avoid applying makeup. Step 10. Choose a corrective concealer. For best results, use a liquid corrective concealer during a yellow or green shade. 10. Liquid corrective concealers are easier to use and blend than most creams and need the utilization of less pressure on the skin. You must use a corrective concealer first before employing a standard concealer if you would like to disguise the black eye. Standard concealers match the tone of your skin and may only blend uneven tones together. Corrective concealers believe the principle of complementary colors to correct discolored portions of skin. A yellow concealer generally works best for a black eye in its early stages, when it appears to possess deep purple undertones. Because the black eye lightens and takes on more red tones or yellow-brown tones, you'll got to switch to a green corrective concealer. Apply the corrective concealer together with your fingers. Use your fingers to dab specks of corrective concealer all round the blackened area of your skin. Use light pressure to softly and punctiliously blend the concealer into your skin, covering the whole damaged area. I hope you are enjoyed watching this video about health issues. Comments, likes and share. Subscribe to our channel and learn more about new things. If you have any problem related to health then you will contact health issue page.